Hey there, it's Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. Today we're gonna make a couple of Christmas tree ornaments using this Tumbling Tower game set from Dollar Tree. These little wooden pieces are the perfect size for crafting with. So first up, we're gonna grab some chalk paint as well as some wood stain, this gel stain in the color oak. First things first, you just wanna paint four pieces for each ornament that you wanna make. So I started with my moss green chalk paint and I painted each of the little wooden game pieces green. Now, if you wanna get like super detail oriented, you technically don't have to paint all four or all six sides of each game piece. You can like think about, okay, where are the joints gonna to come together and where am I gonna hot glue this? And then decide what you wanna paint and what you don't wanna paint. Or if that's just too much thinking for you, just go ahead and paint all six sides of each game piece I like working with chalk paint because it dries quickly and I also like to use parchment paper for my work surface. A lot of times you'll see me use cardboard or scrap paper when I'm painting to protect my wooden table. But for projects like this, I like to use parchment paper so that my pieces don't stick or like stick to the cardboard and then have little cardboard pieces sticking to them. This way I can paint all the sides at once, which is a lot faster than painting half the pieces and then waiting and then flipping them over and then painting again. So I repeated this process with my gel stain and my red paint. You can do as many ornaments as you like. The nice thing is this Tumbling Tower game set comes with like 72 pieces. So that's a lot of Christmas ornaments that you can make with a dollar's worth of wood pieces. So here are all of my green, red, and wood stained pieces ready to be assembled. Now, I like to do a cheater method. So you wanna use wood glue when you're gluing these pieces together, but I don't like to wait for the wood glue to dry. So I take four pieces and then I take wood glue with a paintbrush along with my hot glue gun. I make two little L's here. I find it easier to assemble each L separately and then put the square together. So use the paintbrush to add a dab of wood glue and then add a dab of hot glue on separate sections of the wood. Work very quickly here and then assemble your joint. So here we, I'm gonna add a dab of wood glue. Always do the wood glue first. A little dab of hot glue next to it and then form my joint. I also find it easiest to assemble my pieces together while they're laying flat on my work surface. That way I have perfectly square, even level um, corners and my frames look as professional and perfect 90 degree looking as possible. So there I have a cute little square ornament and I can repeat that with all of my painted and stained wood pieces. Next up, we need to fill our little wood frames. So I actually made a printable. I'm gonna to link to it below. You can print this out on white cardstock. I prefer cardstock because it's thicker than regular printer paper. Just trim out each of these uh, little graphics. Just cut right. I designed it to work perfectly with this Tumbling Tower game. So cut right inside that black square outline and you should be in business. So once that's trimmed, you wanna cut a length of skinny ribbon and then tie a knot. So here is my, my little loop. This is your hanger for your ornament. You're gonna wanna hot glue that right in the middle at the top of your ornament on the back side. So secure that firmly in place and then add hot glue all the way around the edge of the back of your ornament. Work quickly before the hot glue hardens and dries and then just add the little filler. Make sure it's right side facing right side up. So double check it before you add it. And there you have a cute little framed ornament to hang. And then next up, I used my red and green chalk paint as well as just white acrylic craft paint. You could use white chalk paint as well. I just didn't have any in a bright white on hand. So once again, we're gonna do the parchment paper technique. So we're just gonna paint all these pieces. I think the best part about this type of craft is you can use any color paint that you want. So if you're like really into you know neutral colors, you could do all green and white and gray. Um, or you can do classic Christmas colors, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So I'm gonna speed this up and I got all of my little wood pieces painted and then it was time to assemble. This was a little bit easier to assemble than the first one because you're just stacking three um, ornaments in a row. So same method, except I added wood glue on two separate little parts of the wood there. 
wood glue, little dab of hot glue, lay it flat on your work surface, press together firmly, work very quickly before the hot glue dries. And this way, well, the hot glue secures it temporarily, but then that gives time for the wood glue to dry, which gives you the permanent hold, but you don't have to wait for the wood glue to dry before moving on to the next step, which is wrapping your ornament with ribbon. So cut a length of ribbon and just wrap it around the back, twist across the front, and then pull those tail ends back underneath the ornament. So it's just like wrapping any old regular, you know, Christmas gift and then trim the tail ends on the back and secure in the back with hot glue. You want the, because these ornaments might twist around a little bit, you want the front and the back to look as nice as possible. Now it's time to add the hanger. So cut a length of ribbon, slide it underneath one section of the wrapped ornament, and then pull it up to the, along the top edge there. You may have to like wiggle and finagle it a little, little bit. But then you just tie a simple knot to form a loop and there you have a little hanger for your ornament and then finish it off with a bow. So just cut one more length of ribbon, slide it under that twist on the top of the ornament, and then just tie a simple regular bow. So I did the two bunny ears, you know, bunny ear, bunny ear, crisscross, tie in a knot, and then uh, kind of fluff the tail ends um, so that the bow is the size that you want it, cut the angles on the tail ends at 45 degree angle, and you're in business. That's it, two super cute, quick, easy Christmas tree ornaments to make using dollar store supplies. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, happy making.